the outer ear, which is from here to here, the middle ear, which is this portion right here, and the inner ear, which is all of this. Okay, so the very first thing, this is called the pinna or the oracle. This tunnel here, where the sound enters in and hits the eardrum, this is the eardrum. This is called the external auditory meatus. This, the eardrum here is called the tympanic membrane. If you take it out, this is like the eardrum, the tympanic membrane. This part here, it's, it's like a mallet hitting the eardrum. So this is called the malleus, but it's like a mallet hitting the eardrum. The malleus connects to the incus, which is right next to it. So this is the malleus and the incus. And then you put it, you put it back in the, the, oh, the incus connects to the stapes. The stapes is, is this bone here. And the stapes has the, the oval window, which is right in there, the oval window. Then in the inner ear, these are the semicircular canals. I'll take it out so you can see. These are the semicircular canals because they're like semicircles all over. It's connected to the vestibule, which is basically the body that it rests on. So all of this is the vestibule. And then this, which looks, looks like a snail, is called the cochlea. And then when you put it back, this nerve here, the yellow, is called the vestibulocochlear nerve because it connects to the vestibule and the cochlea. And it's cranial nerve number eight, which helps with hearing. So vestibulocochlear nerves. Um, is that it? Oh, and the round window underneath. Here's the oval window, and the round window is this little dot right there, that hole. Oh, yeah. And the last thing, this right here is called the auditory tube or the eustachian tube, either one. And that's it.